Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, this is tutorial number three. I'm going to talk about uh, the skybox and we're going to change the skybox in this uh, test map. This is a very short video. Now, uh, there are two ways to find the brush that we need to change. We could go all the way up using this, using the uh, delta key until we see a sun brush. So there's the sun brush and we could select it. Alternatively, we could go to view, toggle and there is an entity list and we have it down here so there are a number of default uh, entities that are already here uh, which are key brushes if we find a volume sun we can tick it we can press N for November and we get the entity info so I'm going to close that down and here we've got the entity info now at the moment it's using the default skybox or you know sunbox whatever you want to call it um, what I'm going to say to you here are there are a couple of things to consider. Um, there are different light states. So, something that I do is this. With the power switch, the default light state, um, now I forgot this right, I can't remember if it's one or two, I'm going to have to look in a minute. You have a default light state. When you throw the power, it will change the uh, skybox. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have default night. I have light state 2 as uh, default sunset. sunset. Uh, I'm also going to have a light state 3. Uh, now there's a reason for this. Um, in fact no, I'm gonna cha let, me ch let me change this. I'm going to change this to the factory one because it's nice and dark. So we've got two dark sky boxes. But on light state 3, which isn't going to be used in game, I'm actually going to have default day. And this is going to become clear in a minute. So we've done that, we've selected those. I can close that down. I can save it. And then what I'm going to do is build the lighting. And what it will do, it will build the lighting for all three sun states that we've uh, selected. So the way this goes, it will take longer because there are now three sun states. Uh, as you add more probes in as well, which is something I need to go into in a more advanced tutorial, uh, it will take even longer, it will use a lot of memory and it will increase sizes considerably. So, this now says it's done. Over here, we can actually now start picking the light states and I'm going to show you why. If you want a dark map, that's really good, but sometimes it's hard to see what you're doing in certain corners when you're detailing. Uh, I'm going to go into the camera view so we've got I don't know which skybox I want so we've got this one and this one and to be honest they both look the same so I'm probably gonna sort of choose one uh, choose one of them uh, and default on it later but I want to de if I wanted to detail in the editor I might want to see it in a light view and again we can rebuild that lighting for the light view on here All I've done is just build it for that light state. Um, for some reason it wasn't building on both light states. Don't know why. It used to do all three. I must have changed the setting. Hey ho, not to worry. But this is allows us then to flick between different skyboxes inside on the one we want. So when we're editing we might want to you know, be able to see certain nooks and crannies that aren't so visible normally. Uh, but this might be our final skybox. Um, I talked about the power switch control in a few things. Um, I just need to go and check what that does because I've forgotten. Um, I'm going to look at uh, Chaos's one. There is a default light switch on the state on the power. Uh, and I don't know if uh, Chaos uses this, but we'll see. Yes, yeah, so we have light state 2. Uh, which is the uh, one it will go to, uh, but by default it's on light state 1. Uh, so that can mean you can actually have a different skybox when the power goes on, but more importantly you can trigger once you throw the power switch what lights uh, turn on and off, such as the pert lights or uh, fixed lighting. You can actually set uh, what they do. So if I press F9, I will actually quickly drop in a light. So I'm going to press B, 
to type light. There are two kinds of lights, but the one that I want is just a standard one, not the build light. And if we move that up there, and I press N for November on there, we can set which light states this actually compiles into, and you can untick some. So you can make it active or inactive as you choose, and then you can have triggers which turn them on and activate different light states and so on, but that's quite an advanced thing. We won't go too much detail. But here we've now got a reasonably nice dark light state going on. Uh, and that looks a little bit better, a little bit more funkier. Uh, and that's a quick overview of light states in the uh, editor. What I will do is I go into uh, the mod tools, go into Ape, the asset editor, uh, and I will select SSI as a type. Um, I have to know this. And here's the different skyboxes. So I have my own edited ones and we have the default ones. So here's all the default ones. If you weren't happy with a particular um, light box, so for example you wanted to change light, you could create a duplicate and call it whatever you want to call it. So there I've created a duplicate and then what I'm going to do is just going to drag and drop it into my own custom GDT that I created here earlier. To create those, uh, you can go to here and create a new GDT and give it a name. And then you can just drag and drop things around. Um, the reason that you, if you edit anything that is stock, you should always duplicate it, but you should also also put it in your own GDT file, otherwise you'll lose it when they uh, deliver asset drops and it overwrites files. Um, and here we have some other ones that I've done. So just for example, I have even have a custom skybox texture. If we go back to the sunbot, sunbrush. Here we go. Press N. We could change this state one to uh, whack a space. And if we go down here, press F9. And there we go, we've got my very starry night space skybox with the Milky Way and so on over there. Uh, I'm going to save this, I'm going to compile this, and I'm going to see... Um, I don't think the power will switch to light state in the standard map, but I'm going to go into uh, details on how we can do that later on. But we'll quickly have a look and see what happens. No, I don't really want to do that. But I do want to compile, do the light, do the link, and run. So let's that go away. Lighting will probably take a little bit longer again because I've added in the more complex part where I've added more uh, skyboxes to choose from. So away it goes, starts off the compiling and it starts to do the render the probes and the lighting right now. If I just squeeze that to the side, you'll see it's doing the probes and it's rendering it. It'll do four bounces on these. And that's per, you've got to remember this is going to do it for every light state. So the more light states you use, the longer the compiles will take. But again, I still recommend you have like a daytime one, even if you're not using a daytime one. Just put it on light state 3 or 4, because you're probably never going to use those, if I'm honest. Uh, and it just makes it easy to see nooks and crannies when you're uh, adding things. Uh, otherwise it's too dark. I mean, you could change it to fake based lighting, but the textures look awful. Um, so I never do that. Uh, and this is the way it's going, it's linking, it's pulling all the light files and the BSPs together and putting them in, packing them across and it'll try and pack all the sound files and you can actually even see it was erroring on one of my sound files there as well but I'm not too worried about that either uh, I don't know why it's not doing it but zero is an invalid thing so I'm going to have to look at that later And has that finished? Done, done. Looks like we might be done. So let's go and try and launch it. Wait for it to fire up. Takes a while for my hamsters to get going. Yeah, I don't think I feed them enough. They're looking a bit weak and feeble. And hopefully it won't take too long. My 
my insane frames per second. And okay, so we have this skybox. I'm going to try throwing the power switch. This one's not configured, I don't think, to actually change the light state. Uh, but we can actually configure it, as I talked about. It, would have, it could have actually flipped the whole skybox. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. But anyway, it looks a lot nicer, I think, this in the night time. I just happen to prefer dark zombie maps. I don't think light zombie maps work that well. Uh, but that's just a personal preference. But hey-ho, uh, if a map is well made, it's well made. So it won't make a difference. And uh, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it uh, useful. Again, look, I'm going to keep adding and amending and creating new tutorials as I go. Uh, so if you want to see other things, just ask for them. Thanks very much, guys. Ta-ta for now.